On this channel, we solve Sudoku puzzles without writing candidates. If you like these videos, please subscribe to this channel. You can print this puzzle before you watch by clicking on the link in the description below. You can go to this menu item at, on sudokuprimer.com to find lots of puzzles that you can print and, and solve and there's a video to each puzzle so you can uh, see how each one is solved if you need help. Well, today's puzzle is from Nikolai Publishing's Extreme Sudoku. It's puzzle number 18 in this book. We look at the elusive Sudoku opposite pattern, probably the hardest pattern to spot of all patterns. Well, let's solve it and I'll show you the pattern. Right at the very beginning, we've got a 5 and a 7 in opposite corners in box 5. And this is the opposite pattern. And if you find two numbers in this row and in this column that aren't already in this box, you'll know that they are t uh, twins in the opposite corners of the two numbers that are already there. And in this case, we got a 2 and a 9 and a 2 and a 9. So these are t two 9 twins. And that leaves a hidden plus pattern here. Now we can't do much with the plus pattern because we don't have any other numbers in this row or in this column. We've also got a 1 and a 5 in this row and a 5 and a 1 in this column. So these are 1, 5 twins right there. We also have a 7, 4 in this column already and a 7 and a 4 in this column already which makes these 7-4 twins. Now we can't solve the 2-9 twins, the 1-5 twins, or the 7-4 twins, but we're going to use them as we go. First we have a 6 here, 6 here, 6 here, so that's a 6 right there. And then we have a 5 in box 8, and it's right here. Now this one's a little hard to see, but remember the four seven twins we found here? We've got a five here, and with the four seven twins, that makes a hidden T pattern right here. We know these four numbers right here, one, four, three, one, three, four, and seven. And so the five has to be in one of these two cells in box two. So therefore, we have ghost fives there, a five there, and a five here, which makes that a five. We can also put a 3 in here, in box 8. We've got a 3 here and a 3 here, so that makes that a 3 right there. All right, and now we have ghost 6s here. We've got a 6 here and a 6 here and a 6 there, so one of these has to be a 6. But now that we have um, a T pattern here, with that 6 going through the middle of the T, we know one of these has to be a 6, so that can't be a 6. So the 6 in box 5 goes right there. Now we can... <clears throat> we have a 9 here. Ghost 9's here. So we've got a 9 there. Ghost 9's there. And a 9 there. That makes that a 9 right there. All right, and now that we put this 9 in, we can solve the 2 and 9 that we found with this opposite pattern right here. 2 there and a 9 there. And remember our 1, 5 uh, twins right here. Well, now we, can, we know we've got a 2 here and a 2 here. That can't be a 2 because it's one of the 1, 5 twins. So the 2 has to go right there. And the only two numbers left are 3 and 4, um, and they go here. So we have 1, 5 twins, 3, 4 twins. And there's a 3 there, so we can fill in the 4 there and the 3 there. All right, let's look at column 2 here. We're missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and 
four. There's a one, two, and a three, so that's a four right there. And now we're missing one, two, and three. There's a two and three in row nine already, so that makes that a one. And we've got a nine here and nine here, so that makes that a nine. And one here, one here, so this is a one in box eight. All right, now we can put a, um, we have six, seven twins right here, the only two numbers left in this box. Remember our four, seven twins? Well, we can, we can fill those in now. This can't be a seven because of the six, seven twins there. So that's a four and that's a seven. All right, and now let's look at column four right here. We know these are six and seven, so these have to be one and two. There's a two there already, so we put a one there and a two there. All right now we're only missing three numbers in box five. We're missing three, four, eight. Three, four, and eight. Here's a three and a four, so that's an eight there. Four there, so we can put the three there and the four there. Now we've only got three numbers here, and this number is an eight, the only number left in this column. And we're missing one and five here, which we can't solve yet. All right, and now with this one, we can fill in the one and five in box six. Five goes there, one goes there. And the only number missing in row five is a seven right there. And an eight in row four. Let's look at row two. What are we missing here? One, three, nine. One, three, and nine. Here's a one and a nine. So we can put a three there. But we can't find, we don't know where the one and the nine go yet. All right, let's go to column eight and look at this one. What are we missing? Four, eight, and nine. Here's a four and a nine. So we can put a eight there. And we can't do anything with the four and nine yet. Let's see, we're missing in row eight here. We're missing two, four, seven. Two, four, and seven. Here's a four and a seven. So we can put a two there. And we're still missing four and seven, which we can't put in yet. All right, but now we have a two here, two here, so we can put a two there. And a two, 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 so a two there. And a two, 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 so the two goes there. Now we're only missing one number in column two here, so that's it's three. We put in the two and now we can fill in the three. All right, now we've got um, let's see an eight here and an eight here. So this is an eight right there and eight, eight. So that has to be an eight also. All right, now we're missing four, six, and seven here. We're missing six and seven here. So that tells me this has to be a four. Because if you look at the un unique rectangles here, we have six, seven here, six, seven here. This can't be a six or a seven. And the only thing it can be is four, six, or seven. So that has to be a four right there. All right, and with this four, we can fill in the four and seven here. And then this has got to be a six. 
So that's a seven, that's a six right there. And now we're missing nine, let's see, five, seven, and nine here. Five, seven, nine. There's a five and a seven there, so that's a nine. That makes that a, f a seven. Oop, sorry, I almost put a five in there and a five there. Now we're missing only one number here. Seven. And what are we missing here? One, four, nine. One, four, nine. There's a four and a nine. So one. There's the four. So nine, four. Now we can put in the one and five there with this one. And <clears throat> see what are we missing here? We're missing five, nine, five and nine there. We got a nine there, so we can put a nine there and a five there. We're missing three and five here, so we can solve those. Okay, and then we're only missing one, um, let's see, one, three, six here. Uh, let's see what this number is. 495, 495, 187, there's an 8 and a 7, so that's a 1. And then 3 and 6 are missing, there's a 6, so that's a 3 and that's a 6 right there. And that's all. We got it. Well, I like this puzzle. It's kind of fun to do because of the twins I found early on. And I wanted to show the um, elusive opposite pattern. It's a little bit trickier to see, probably the hardest one to see, um, because you're looking at a box with only two numbers in it, and you don't expect to be able to find another or a set of twins in a box with only two numbers. But in this case, we were able to do that because of that opposite pattern there. Well, thanks for uh, coming and watching today, and I'll see you on the next video.